Amy here and I'm sharing a process video today for the UK Scrap Addicts and this month of February we're looking at mixing collections. I've picked the Coco Vanilla Studio Boys Wall collection and I'm going to be mixing it up with Vicky Booten's Kaleidoscope collection. To make this work I decided to mainly focus on the blues and the greens in both collections and that makes it quite easy to combine the two collections but then I decided to add a hint of pink from the Vicky Booten collection just to make it different from just using the boys rule that doesn't have any pink in it at all. So for my background paper I picked this beautiful sky patterned paper from Vicky Booten and you can see down in the bottom corner it does have some of the pink that I'm going to bring in very very slightly towards the end of the layout. I'm using this square photograph that also has greens and a, and a lot of blues and in it. So the first thing I do is I just trim off the very top edging where it has the perforated piece from the background of the paper. So once I've done that I decide that I don't want the white paper at all, I just trim off the perforated and that's going to form my background and I've got this square of like um, a starburst in grey so I'm going to place that in the middle of the layout and hopefully now the quality of the rest of the video is going to improve slightly once I realise that I still had the autofocus on. And I'm just distressing all of the edges on this square piece of paper. Um, I use the distressing tool and then I use my fingers just to ruffle up and create a little bit of texture. And I use my T ruler just to make sure I've placed it square and in the middle of the paper and you can see that there's a good at least an inch all the way around and then I just make sure it's flat and I tear some of the edges slightly. Now I'm going to go with some banner pieces and my first thought was to have them all horizontal that was my initial idea so I create some quick banners using mostly this is the boys rule papers in the navy blue, the lighter blue and the green. The green is actually from a scrap that was already cut in the pendant and that's what gave me the idea to use pendants and I'm just going to layer them up. And then I've got this aquary colour that's from the Vicky Booten range so I cut that into a pendant so you can see there that using all of the blues and greens it works really well to combine together. So I'm thinking about placing it like that and then I decide actually I want to turn it into a vertical and I like how that looks a lot better so that's how my layout's going to work. I then to bring in the little bit of pink I matte the photograph with a very very thin border of this scrap piece of pink and it's a really nice dark deep magenta pink and it just makes all of the blues pop and it does make it very different from the boys rule collection that doesn't have any pink in it at all and I really like how those two collections are working together. I then mat it with a thicker border of this grey sort of concrete effect paper from the boys rule collection so it's now double matted into a slightly larger square I'm now going to go and stick some of the banners down. Before I stick them down I decide that I want to give them a little bit more definition so I'm using some grey distress ink in weathered wood and the larger blender tool and I'm just edging the, all of the banners and it just gives like a grey definition to the edges and when you layer it up it just makes them pop. Obviously it stands out a bit more on the lighter colours than the darker colours but all four have now been edged in this grey and then I'm sticking them all down, layering them up. So the big green one I decide to put at the very top and then I stagger the starting positions of the other three banners and then I just distress the edge of the grey layer of photograph just to bring in the distressed look to match the starburst background paper.
and then I stick my photograph down just checking again that I have got it square sometimes I think that things are square when I'm doing it by eye but it's not actually square and then I decide I'm going to add my title I'm using these stickers from the boys rule collection that says totally awesome and I really like that these are transparent stickers so you don't have any of the edging and it just balances to have the photograph in the top right hand corner to put the title down in the bottom left hand corner I then go through some ephemera pieces this is the ephemera pack from the kaleidoscope collection and I just try and pull out any pieces that I think might work I'm mostly looking for pieces that have got the pink in it or the blues I don't want to bring in any more colors because this collection does have a rainbow of colors so I discount anything with the yellows or other colors in it and I end up with these few pieces that I've pulled out and so then I try and place them and I kind of try and make the triangular design on my layout just to bring it all together tucking a lot of the pieces behind the layers that I've already got adding some of the same distressed ink to the stickers just to create a cohesive look so I stick this square sticker there and then I found these two circular stickers that I really like or die cuts so I place the one with pink down in the bottom corner and the black one goes up by the photograph and I just add that little bit of notepad paper just ink it with the grey again and just tuck it in under there just for some more added interest now I'm going through the Vicky Booten um, sticker book and I pull out these little butterflies because I just wanted to have a few more pops of the pink and these butterflies seem to work really well now I'm struggling because I've got two butterflies and I like to have th um, three clusters so eventually I will go back and add a third circular element I find this sticker that has got the blue and the pink text so I add that down at the bottom as like a subtitle underneath and this is where I'm trying to find the third circular element I am going back between the two collections, the Kaleidoscope collection and now I'm looking at the Boys Rule collection to see if I can find anything there and I do find a circular element eventually from that pack. I also find this navy sticker that I think will just bring in that little bit of darker navy and I stick that under the blue butterfly here's the circular sticker that I cut in half and I ink the edges and that gives me my third circular element on my page and then I pretty much call this layout finished I really like the look that it creates it's quite a bold clean look and adding that little bit of pink and the brighter aqua in with the boys rule greens and blues and greys just really makes it stand out and different so I'll leave you with some close-ups. Thank you for watching. Bye.